YG's subsidiary, The Black Label, is reportedly planning to debut a new group and the potential members will have your jaw drop. Photos believed to be of the new group have caused quite a ruckus. Since Teddy has been absent in producing music for YG's newest girl group, Baby Monster, many believed that his label had cut ties with the company completely. So when a picture featuring the six potential members of The Black Label's upcoming group hit the internet, there appeared speculation that Teddy was aiming to compete directly with YG. Some have even noted that the group appears more like Blackpink's juniors than Baby Monster based on their unique styles and visuals. The label has already confirmed that they will indeed debut a new girl group in the first half of the year, promising to share more details later on, so we definitely have something to look forward to. Now, let's talk about the potential members. Let's start with the one we have the least information about, Brittany Jang. She's suspected to be born in 2003, and her nationality is supposedly Korean, but that's all we know about her personal life. It's said that she has been a trainee under the Black Label ever since 2018, but then left the company, so netizens aren't sure if she would be debuting due to these rumors. Judging by the picture of all the members together, though, it seems like she's still there or has at least returned. The last thing we know about her is that she's friends with Kiss of Life member Julie, but that's about it. Next, we have Hanbjol, also known by her Swedish name Caddies, who might be familiar to YG fans as she used to be a trainee under the company. Known as One Star, Hanbjol has been working towards becoming a K-pop idol for a few years now, literally ever since she was a child. In 2016, when she was 11 years old, she participated in the sixth sixth season of SBS's K-pop star, competing in front of Yang Hyun Suk. Although she didn't win, her impressive performance ensured that the company wouldn't let her go, so she ended up joining the company as a trainee when she was only in sixth grade. Being a trainee under one of the biggest companies in the entertainment industry provided her with numerous opportunities, one of which was a role in the JTBC Drama School of Hip Hop, where she portrayed Ye Jin, a multi-talented 12-year-old. Seeing her skills and talent, many hoped that she would be debuting in YG's Next Girl group, which was was Baby Monster, but that didn't end up happening as Hanbyul left YG for good. After departing from the company, she tried her hand at debuting again by participating in Mnet's survival show Captain. As always, Hanbyul has been nothing short but impressive and has left the judges in awe. However, it was during this show that she got honest about why she left YG, where success would be guaranteed. According to her, she trained under the company for three years before deciding to end her contract because it seemed like she wouldn't be debuting anytime soon. This made her feel disheartened and without direction during her practice. Hanbyul said, When I practiced, I would suddenly wonder, what am I doing here? That's when I thought, I guess I mean nothing here. Looking at the timeline, we can guess that by the point that Hanbyul left, she already knew that Baby Monster was going to happen and she wouldn't be a part of the group despite training so hard for all those years. Well now, judging by the photo, she has moved on to the black label and will finally get the chance to show everyone just how talented she is. Lee Gawan, or Chloe Lee, is another member that was rumored to be debuting in Baby Monster, but never made it into the final lineup. Born in 2005, Chloe spent two to three years as a YG trainee. During her time there, her name frequently came up in discussions about the Baby Monster lineup, but in 2021, it was said that she would be joining the Black Label. However, despite her impressive history as a trainee, Chloe wasn't known for her music as much as she was for her modeling years. In fact, she's a child model and has worked with Adidas in one of their campaigns. Not only that, but she's made an appearance in editorials for Allure magazine, which has amassed her plenty of fans in Korea as well as China. We have yet to see Chloe on stage, but that doesn't mean that we're not looking forward to it. Ella Gross, or Nobby, is another member of the group with experience in modeling and an extensive background in acting. Born in 2008 in the United States, Ella's career took off at a young age when she gained viral attention at just 10 years old for her striking resemblance to her senior Blackpink's Jenny, which led to many cute interactions between the two. This also marked the beginning of her acting career. She portrayed young Betty in the 2018 series Heather, Sasha Gossard in the 2019 Malibu Rescue and its spin-off The Next Wave, and young Soji in Star Trek Picard. During her years as a child actor and model, she was signed under Monster Talent Management, which was home to Zendaya. It's unclear if she's left the agency to join the Black Label, but if she aims to concentrate on her K-pop career, she likely entrusted the direction of her career to Teddy. Another interesting thing about her is that she's the brand ambassador for the luxury brand La Mer at only 14 years old. Even though we know nothing about the group or what position the members will hold, we know who the main dancer will be, and it's none other than Bailey Sock. Before we get to her impressive career, let's talk about how she got started. According to Bailey herself, she began dancing at the age of two, prompting her parents to enroll her in dance classes. Initially, she received training in jazz, ballet, and tap, and by the age of six, she was already participating in dance competitions. At 10, she transitioned to hip-hop and joined the all-girl dance group Buns and Roses on the ninth season of America's Got Talent and teamed up with the young dance prodigy Keita the Great on 
NBC's World of Dance season four. She also performed on stage with Janet Jackson, Megan Trainor, Jason Derulo, and Marshmello. At only 14 years old, she was teaching dance classes worldwide and earned the title of the youngest dance instructor at the 2019 Fair Play Dance Camp in Krakow. In 2019, she was one of four dancers chosen to choreograph the music video for Pop Stars, the debut single of KDA. A year later, at only 15, she got a choreography gig for none other than Red Velvet's hit song Psycho. In Bailey's own words, it was such a crazy experience for me because I didn't have any experience in choreographing for other groups. Even with my friends, we were just trying things out. She choreographed her own part from her bedroom, and most importantly, she got introduced to the world of K-pop, where we guess she got the interest to debut as an artist. After her initial exposure to the K-pop scene, she played a role in choreographing music videos for Taemin's Idea, Shinies Don't Call Me, Espa's Savage and Spicy, and Kai's Peaches, among many others. Mind you, she was going through all of this before she even turned 18. She was also featured in the music video for Cruel alongside Jackson Wang, which means that she has already established her name in the industry. She's also acted in dramas, movies, and commercials, so she's proven herself to be a jack-of-all-trades. At first, the sight of Bailey among the other trainees has made people think that Bailey's the group choreographer rather than a member, but her friends' comments and even her own captions have proved otherwise. Plus, she worked with the Black Label and YG in the past as she was one of the choreographers for Taeyang's hit Shung, featuring Blackpink's Lisa and Vibe, featuring BTS's Jimin, and even Lisa's Money Dance Break. But we doubt that Bailey will contribute in the group as just a dancer, as it's said that she's been taking vocal lessons with BTS's vocal trainer. If she really turns out to be a part of the group, she will put an end to the best dancer in the fourth, fifth generation debates once and for all. Now, let's talk about the most controversial member of the group. Annie Moon, or Moon Soyun, is thought to be the oldest member of the group, as she is 21. However, she's probably the member that people will look forward to seeing the most because she's said to be a diamond spoon. Not a silver spoon, not a gold one, but she's allegedly part of the 0.1% of the population in terms of her wealth. It's said that she's the granddaughter of Lee myung hee who is the chairwoman of Shinsegae, which owns the E-Mart retailing chains and billion dollar department stores in Korea. Her grandmother is also the fifth daughter of Lee Byung-chul, the founder of Samsung. Two of her grandmother's nephews include Lee Jae-yong, the chairman of Samsung, and Lee Jae-hyun, the chairman of CJ. However, there are numerous other notable relatives in their family tree. Her grandfather is Moon Chung, a journalist who leads the KBS press headquarters, and in addition to that, her maternal uncle is Go Hyun Jung's ex-husband, more specifically the grandson of the Samsung founder and Shinsegi's current vice chairman. As for Annie's mother, Chung yuk Young, she's currently the president of Shinsegae. With all of these CEOs and businessmen in her family, it's said that her family's net worth is $2.6 billion. Annie herself hasn't been shy about her lavish lifestyle, posting pictures from her travels, covered head to toe in luxury brands. She also went to Columbia University, a globally renowned institution, but what really shocked fans were her close friendships with other idols, especially CL. They were spotted together during the shooting of CL's unreleased single All In in 2016 at the 2021 Met Gala in New York City when Annie was a Columbia University student, and notably at Coachella in 2022, where Annie witnessed the iconic reunion performance of 21. Furthermore, Annie has shown her admiration for CL's music and consistently supported her releases on Instagram. When the time of Annie's debut comes, we know that CL will be cheering on her. Annie was also so close to G-Dragon that there was also a rumor that they were dating. In January of last year, the two were allegedly seen together at the Street Man Fighter concert, which led to people thinking that they were in a relationship. Even though the relationship was never confirmed or even addressed, she was also seen with other YG artists like Blackpink, choreographer Lee Jung, and even Jungkook from BTS. We don't have a confirmation whether she will debut under this new group or not, but we don't think that Teddy will pass up on the chance to have a literal Chae Bol as a member.